Hi, my name is Nico, the Happier Cyclist, and today I'm happier because I'm riding on cobblestones. All right, to tell you the truth, I'm not sure I'm gonna feel happier in a few seconds. Uh, just wanted to share with you one of our specialties in France, the hell of the north, the cobblestones. I'm standing here at the start of the Carrefour de l'Arbre sector. It is one of the last sectors of Paris-Roubaix, one of the longest, one of the hardest and most defining uh, in terms of strategy and and how the race unfolds. To tell you the truth, I have done uh, this a few times and it's always awful and full disclosure, I'm really not in shape to do this. I'm gonna try and stand on the pavé as long as I can, but I really don't know what I can do really. I know it's gonna be painful to do and possibly painful to watch too. So. Hang on. I'm doing this voiceover watching the playback of the video and I'm gonna try to give you my impressions. Uh, I'm not sure at all that the video uh, really captures how bad the um, cobblestones are. You really got to realize um, how uneven the road is. It's, it's incredible. And there is a, a reason, a very good reason, why most riders ride at the center of the road. Because <coughs> the road has been altered by uh, tractors. <laughs> That's funny, I'm hearing myself. Yeah, and at that point, I'm gonna say it. Yeah, I'm saying I'm, it feels like being thrown out of the saddle. It's really, I was bumping, um, probably because uh, I had uh, inflated uh, the tires uh, much less than I would do on a normal day, on a normal road. So I was sometimes bouncing. So uh, I was speaking about tractors and the thing with tractors is that they have those big wheels on the left and on the right which destroy the road and that's why you have so much damage uh, on the sides and it's much uh, smoother if I can use the word it's not the right word but it's much smoother at the center generally but sometimes the the center is not appropriate because it, it it's a spike it's pointy. <laughs> the road is so damaged that it's pointy, so you got to go on the side, but not in this sector. I've seen this on uh, other sectors. The truck that you just saw uh, by the side of the road was the truck that in, uh, installs, uh, verifies that the road signs are all in place, um, where you're gonna see arrows right at the corner of the road here. Yellow arrows, you see the arrows here. And of course it's a nice souvenir if you go and watch the race. Uh, it's funny at this corner because I had been there for uh, taking videos earlier in the day. So I knew that I had to stay at the center of the road because at the left there was a huge hole and of course when I came there I almost hit the hole. <laughs> because
because I was so tired already. Yes, that's one thing. It's that uh, you, 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 the vibration is awful, but the effort in itself to to maintain a decent speed is incredible. I uh, I did um, an average 22 kilometers per hour on this sector, which is by my standards, it's good, <laughs> but. Uh, it's really, really bad in terms of how you absorb the shocks. If you want to be comfy on the on the cobblestones, you get to be 40 kilometers per hour uh, at least. If you're under 30, I think you're gonna hurt whatever you do. And the slower you get, the more painful it is. It's 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 awful. It's and it's counterintuitive because uh, when you suffer on a climb you slow down and you're getting better uh, or you stop on the cobblestones <laughs> if you <laughs> that's funny I'm gonna talk uh, to you about this uh, later but if you slow down it, it gets more painful <laughs> and if you stop it's sometimes it's almost impossible to go back on the saddle because the road is so bad so there I was screaming because of the smell of manure <laughs> there were two spots on this road where there was manure and it was really really awful to add to my misery <laughs> and there I'm gonna do something that my ego asked for I'm asking for people to cheer for me And they were very generous. <laughs> oh, this is so great. Believe me when I say Mountains are easy. <sighs> Nothing compares to this. Nothing. <sighs> I mean, it, it hurts everywhere. You're just getting punched from everywhere. You, can, you, you cannot compare with anything else. I mean, I've had cobblestones in Paris. Champs-Élysées, it's cobblestones, and in Belgium, but it's, it's flat, flat polished cobblestones, well, less in Belgium, they're not polished, but they're fl rather flat, not at this, this is really awful, from the Middle Ages, really, where is my chariot, I need one, Would I recommend it? Well, it's a trip. I've done once the last 100 kilometers of Paris-Roubaix from valers Arbert to the Vélodrome. And it's, it's really something, and it was raining all, all day long. Well, all day long, it took me four hours, I think. It was raining for the whole thing. And Well, it's awful, but when you reach the velodrome, even if it's empty, it's really something. Ah. Oh. Oh. Casse la gueule. Casse la gueule. All things considered, I am a happier cyclist today, suffered a big deal, but 
you know what I did it and I'm super happy I did I took the opportunity to do that today I had a blast it's it's crazy stupid but <laughs> I hope the images are as good as I tried to get them it's really something to do once in your life all right that was my that was my happy thought for the day don't forget to subscribe if you like what I do like being crazy uh, whatever you do keep riding take care of yourselves see you on the road not that kind of road necessarily <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> ah.